Well, we're going to turn now to another potential disaster in one of the nation's busiest ports. A huge cleanup taking place this morning after a barge carrying almost a million gallons of heavy oil collided with the ship and began leaking into Galveston Bay in Texas. Officials trying to get a handle on just how much oil has spilled and its impact on the area, which is filled with all kinds of birds. ABC's Michelle Franzen is here with the very latest. Good morning, Michelle. Well, good morning, Bianca. The collision was caught on video, but investigators are still not certain who is to blame for the accident. Accident that set off the oil spill. The main concern now keeping the oil contained in the Galveston Bay and from seeping into the Gulf. This morning, a race to contain an oil spill in Houston's busy shipping channel after a barge carrying nearly one million gallons of fuel oil collided with a ship. We saw that tanker come out of nowhere. Amateur video taken by Adam Gutierrez captured the moment of impact in the foggy Galveston Bay. Oh my God. I knew they couldn't change direction at that point. It was too close. Too close and the damage clear. Part of the barge remained submerged and officials say with an undisclosed amount of oil oozing from one of six tanks. That one tank contains 168,000 gallons. There's a reasonable amount of oil in the water. I can't tell you if there's a substantial amount of oil in the water. That's certainly being, that's being assessed at this point. Federal, state, and local agencies launched a massive effort, bringing in containment booms to skim the leaking oil sheen visible on the surface. The Coast Guard says the 580-foot bulk carrier Summer Wind collided with the barge being towed through the deep water port by another vessel called the Miss Susan. The scramble now, keeping the oil from spreading and seeping into the Gulf, a region still recovering from the massive BP oil spill and home to wildlife and popular fishing spots. The Coast Guard even told us, you know, if you're going to don't eat any fish you catch today. And this morning, they'll be back at it. As many as 20 vessels are staging to help with cleanup operations. Meanwhile, officials say two people were taken to the hospital after being exposed to hydrogen sulfide. Dan. The last thing this region needed. Thank you, Michelle.